Unfortunately, you're looking at things that won't be happening this year, like the processions for Christmas in Marina Door, our resort where we have our apartment, and the Christmas Fair, which was quite a large area of the land around Barcelona Sant Station. And this was clearly an event that got going late at night when I'd already left on a train. What we did see this year at Oropesa before the lockdown started was Storm Gloria which was all along the eastern coast of Spain and the southernmost part of France. High winds, heavy rainfall and the sort of battering that the coast got as seen in these pictures. The Mediterranean slowly made its way across the beach, across the grasslands, down the paths and onto the roadways at the front of the resort. We didn't stay out in the pouring rain and wind for very long. We retreated to a nearby bar, had a hot cup of coffee, but I was back out again with the camera after the storms had subsided to see what the damage was. The Mediterranean had thrown pebbles and stones from the beach across onto the pathways and the grasslands in the front of the apartments. A big clean-up operation which was also experienced by the campsites in the area which are also on the seafront. We waded our way down to the Didotta campsite and had a couple there and we were looking out at the flooded streets and the empty campsite. It had been completely evacuated because the sea wall was completely destroyed and over the next few days we filmed people putting it all back together and trying to recover from Storm Gloria. The damage to the whole coast was considerable and took a lot of people to put it right afterwards and unfortunately that's the only memory we have of this year in Spain because they stopped us travelling after that. And the superhero that was in the sea that day wasn't any help. It takes each and every one of us to make sure our planet is safe and we stop destroying it otherwise it will keep fighting back. Mm -hmm. 